Christmas. Christmas is only like 10 days away or less, which is crazy to me. And I have been running so behind this Christmas. Uh-huh. I feel like I say that every year, and I guess every year I'm just gonna be running behind. There's just been a whole bunch of other like non-Christmassy things that have been getting in the way of my Christmas to-do list. But today, I finally crossed enough things off that I feel like I can like dive into Christmas and get the last few things done, like send out our Christmas cards, do some last minute Christmas shopping, do some Christmas baking, really get in the holiday spirit. So, <laughs> so um, I am headed to the store with Harper right now and we are gonna go pick up some Christmas gifts and things, I need some things before I send off um, some of our Christmas cards and Christmas packages. So that is what we are doing today. What's that on your tummy? What's that on your tummy? Do you see the reindeer? With these ears? Ears? That's a reindeer on your sweater, huh? Yeah, his arms, legs, nose, eyes, and ears. Ready to go? Are you having so much fun? You see all of the Christmas lights? You see all of those beautiful lights, huh? Okay, we're gonna go into another store. It's one of mommy's favorite. Tell daddy to come in here when he's going Christmas shopping for mommy, okay? graceful and lovely's um video sharing her favorite hot chocolate recipe and she shared the william and sonoma um hot chocolate mix and it's like shaved chocolate <laughs> so i was like oh i need that <laughs> i thought that it would make really awesome gifts because it's like gourmet hot chocolate so um i picked up three of those at uh, William and Sonoma. One for me, two for some, two other people. And now I am headed to Target. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this hot chocolate mix. It is straight up shaved chocolate. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so glad that I got one for Joe and I. And then I have two others. So this is the gift that I'm sending uh, my brother Ben um, and his little girls. I thought it'd be fun for them to make some hot chocolate on Christmas Eve. So um, yeah, I'm gonna package this up. And then I went on Walgreens and put together this little cube ornament. It was only $12. It was normally 24, but I found a 50% off coupon on Retail Me Not, and so I added the picture of us seeing Santa and Harper in front of the Christmas tree, and Harper sitting on a bench, and then the front of it says Merry Christmas. The front of it there says Merry Christmas. So I'm gonna include that with um, their gift. And then for Sarah's parents, which is Harper's birth grandparents, um, I got them the same ornament to put on their tree and then I decided to just get them um, a little wallflower from Bath and Body Works. So this little guy you plug into the wall and then you screw this in and it fills your house with beautiful fragrance. And then I thought it'd be cute to tie some candy canes on with a ribbon 
onto um, the hot chocolate and this will be another gift for someone. And then I saw this wallflower and so I got it for me. I feel like it like just totally went with our design in our house. So I got the refills in the frozen lake scent and the frosted cranberry scent. And then I got two candles. I got the spiced apple one and then the tis the season one. Harper is over there watching Elf for the first time and I am making pancakes. I got this pancake mix from, it's a, um, it's an apple strudel uh, pancake mix and I got it from World Market and it was so good. I made this for the uh, 50s video when I made the Santa Claus and reindeer pancakes and it was so good, like it doesn't even need syrup. Um, so I'm making that again. It has like apple chunks and cinnamon and nutmeg in the mix. This is one of those things that I think would be really awesome like neighbor gifts so that they could um, make this for like um, Christmas morning. And it was only like $8, slap a bow on it and you're good to go. I realized that I forgot to pick up the camera. I don't even think I showed the finished product of the pancakes, but they just look like pancakes. <laughs> We had a really fun Saturday though. Nothing at major really happened, but um, it's just been a nice relaxing Saturday. Joe went and saw Star Wars with his friend, so that was really nice, and I just had a really fun day with Harper. We didn't really do anything besides curling up on the couch and reading stories, and she's really loving books lately. Like, she's always loved reading, like, when I would read to her, but it was more she liked turning the pages and she would like want to turn the page before I was even done reading the page. Whereas um, this past like couple of weeks, like she just sits on my lap like so excited and she's like listening to what I'm reading and she's not trying to turn the pages and stuff and she just like wants me to read book after book. So that's been really fun. So it's how, that is how we've been spending a lot of our days lately, which just melts my heart. So anywho, um, yeah, I got the Christmas cards done though. <laughs> so that's really fun. I'll show you guys our Christmas cards, but if you are family or friends and you haven't received it yet in the mail, which you probably haven't because they're still in my hand, um, look away. <laughs> Getting Christmas cards is one of my favorite parts about Christmas, so if I were watching someone's vlog and I knew that I was gonna get their Christmas card, I'd probably turn away because I'd, I wouldn't wanna spoil it. But I'll show you guys. <laughs> so it says, very merry, very blessed, love, Joe, Brittany, and Harper. And the thing was, was that we hadn't gone and taken like family pictures to include on the Christmas card. I feel like nowadays you, can, you can't send a Christmas card without it being like a picture Christmas card. So I thought that I would just include some pictures on the card that were like highlights from the year. That was when we went picnicking um, at BYU with his mom. That was my 30th birthday. That was last like Valentine's Day, but it still includes in this year. Um, that was when we went to the park with Harper, which was just a really fun day. It was kind of like her first real day at the park. Um, this was when we got sealed to Harper in the temple after the adoption was finalized. Um, after six months, this is Harper opening her gifts on her birthday. And then this is Halloween, <laughs> where they both dressed up as bumblebees. So it's kind of just, this is what the back looks like. It just has hearts on it. It'll focus, there we go. So um, it's just kind of highlights from the year. And then I ordered these cute envelopes, but I didn't realize that the envelope is just white inside, so it's just a normal envelope, but then it comes with these inserts. So you have to insert it yourself into the envelope, which works. It wasn't that bad, and it comes with like a little sticky thing, so I'll do it right now. So you just insert it into the envelope and then you peel off the back part and that's sticky and then you just adhere it and then you fold it so that you have the crease doing this one-handed and then boom there's your envelope and then you lick this part obviously as you would a normal envelope to close it um, so yeah, I mean it's cute. I just didn't realize that I had to like insert all of these So it made putting the Christmas cards together a little bit more time-consuming. So anywho, 
that is our Christmas card set this year. Okay, so this is what my porch looks like. We still have fall here with a random Christmas wreath. I have dead mums, a fall welcome mat with a whole bunch of dead leaves, hay, pumpkins, and more dead mums. And then a random pile of Christmas stuff that I meant to decorate with and it's been there for like a month. We have had so many people drop off cookies and every single time I am slightly horrified that they came onto our front porch having it look like this. So today I need to finally get our front porch into Christmas because Christmas is coming. Okay, and this is what it looks like about 20 minutes later. Not perfect, but better than what it was. So the Christmas wreath stayed the same, obviously. And then I added this little Christmas moose. He lights up, but he decided to break this year, but I think he's still cute. A little Christmas doormat that I got from Target and a little snowman that my dad got me. He's actually supposed to hold a lantern, but I need to go grab that. And then my favorite part is that I hung these two wreaths on the two little windows here on our front porch and I think it just makes it look so traditional and classic and Christmassy. So that is going to do it for today's video, guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!